Now, this is an important question about which there is a lot of confusion. Because one thing is poverty, another thing is inequality. They are two completely different things. Globalization and the third industrial revolution that we are talking about almost every day nowadays has diminished in the last 25 years poverty. Diminished by 900 million people, which is a good result. But at the same time, has increased inequality. Now, inequality means uh, the distance separating one social group from another. And it is measured by uh, using the Gini coefficient. What I want to stress is that inequality, in a sense, is more dangerous than poverty. Why? Because inequality jeopardizes peace. Those who suffer out of inequality without being poor in an objective sense, they, are, they might be dangerous, they might become violent. Of course, in Europe, the issue of inequality so far has been, in a sense, compensated by the so-called welfare states. The fact is that our welfare state system in Europe are unsustainable financially unsustainable. That is why we had better thinking uh, about the near future, which is not the case. In Europe, nobody is thinking in those terms. We, everybody thinking in the corto plazo, they say in Spanish, uh, uh, short terms, short terms, in order to keep uh, the situation quiet uh, until the next election comes. But that is very dangerous, very dangerous. A true politician should think in terms of future generations, not in terms of the future next election, in order to win them. And that is why the crisis of the welfare states in Europe has and is increasing the problems connected to violence, etc. In particular, in these days, we have the migrant issue. The problem of migrants today is more important than in the past, because the migrants we are talking about are not only what I, we call economic migrants, people emigrating to look for a job, which is okay, always existed. Today, the new wave of migration is connected to political and religious factors. The people coming from Syria are people who are not poor. They were not poor, they have become poor because they have destroyed their houses, etc. Consider what's happening, uh, for instance, in certain countries of Africa, where, for instance, Catholics are, are, are fought, are discriminated heavily. And these people are, so that is why the issue of migration cannot be solved at the national level. You have to solve it at the European level. Again, honestly speaking, so far, the European leadership has not considered that. Because each country, each government thinks of itself in a separation way from the others. And that is the wrong way which will increase the inequalities and the possibility of violence and related matters.